Hi guys, my name is Michael Stilwell and I'm a student coordinator here at Piano Technician Academy. Being a student coordinator means I talk to a lot of people who are thinking about getting into piano technology or enrolling in our piano tuning and repair course. And one of the main things I get um, asked about is do I have to have perfect pitch to tune pianos? Um, or they'll say something like my piano tuner had perfect pitch or my son has perfect pitch or my uncle has perfect pitch. Um, and I always follow up that question with what does that mean to you? Um, the reason I ask is because the first couple times I asked, I got such a dramatically different version of what it actually means, what Webster's definition of perfect pitch actually is. Um, so now it's kind of just entertaining. But in short, you do not need to have perfect pitch to tune pianos. In fact, what, definition, what Webster's definition of perfect pitch is, is that somebody is able to pull a C or a B or an A out of their hat. They can just literally go sing an A and nail it. It may not be like exactly down to the exact hertz, but they can hit an A or they can hit a B or I'm holding a, a C tuning fork here. If I ignite these and I hear it, that is a C. If I put this up to somebody with a um, with perfect pitch, I should be able to put this to their ear and they go, that is a C, not a B or an A. Now, the difference and the amusing things for piano technicians is I have yet to hear anybody who can hear the difference between one or two cents. In piano technology, we use cents to measure a pitch. So you have 100 cents in a half step and 200 cents in a whole step. Um, on a normal tuning where you're tuning the piano every six to eight months, um, you're probably adjusting the pitch about one to three cents. Now, in those circumstances, I can't hear it. I'm a third generation piano technician. I work at a piano store that's fairly large. We're about 28,000 square feet. We do rebuilds. I work with anybody from a starter piano technician all the way up to a concert tech. Still haven't met anybody that could hear the difference between one or two cents. Um, now, if you are tuning a piano and say these are the strings and you're tuning this string to this string and this string is couple cents flat, you're going to hear, you'll hear this wah, 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 wah sound when the two notes are played at the same time, or two strings are played at the same time. But if it's just one string, you're not going to be able to tell whether this thing is one or two cents flat. Uh, it's just too minute of a measurement, in my opinion, um, in a lot of our opinions here at PTA. Um, so basically, that's what we're talking about today. Um, the, the actual definition of perfect pitch and the perceived definition of perfect pitch is two dramatically different things and it's somewhat amusing for us piano technicians. But anyways, guys, if you have any questions, always feel free to shoot me an email or give us a call. My email is michael at pianotechnicianacademy.com or you can even email one of our instructors, David Hayes at david at pianotechnicianacademy.com. As always, thanks for watching and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.